This lesson will focus on lens star keratometry, a key measurement with significant improvements versus the other optical biometer. The measurement exemplifies the true superiority of LensStar by providing significantly more keratometry information in seconds. Hear what an expert says about LensStar keratometry. I was very impressed with the reproducibility of LensStar K is probably some of the best I've ever seen. Up until now, we've been using the IOL Master 2.5 millimeters zone case, or software version 5.4, and that's been sort of our go-to measurement technique. I think the LensStar K's are actually better, and we're very, very confident with them. In contrast to the other optical biometer, which utilizes six measurement points on one concentric ring at about 2.5 millimeters, LensStar utilizes 32 measurement points placed on two concentric rings of 16 points each at 1.65 millimeters and 2.3 millimeters to ensure precise and extremely reproducible keratometry. This allows precise measurements even with non-compliant patients. Dr. Uday Devgan says it all. The biggest challenge in cataract patients is to nail pre-op Ks. For my cataract patients, probably the biggest challenge for me to nail plano post-op is pre-op Ks. Our axial lengths are really accurate, our caps rex is good, incisions are pretty consistent, but it's that variability in measuring K. For every one day after my pre-op K is off, I get a one day after surprise. Keratometry measurements have been key to IOL calculations since the original two variable formulas. To this day, keratometry is a steady variable of maximum importance in about every IOL calculation formula. Hear more of what the experts have to say. I've looked at the IOL master case and the case from the Lensar, and in my book, they're the same. They're essentially the same as far as the sphere. But when you look at the astigmatism, the, the Iowa Master gives pretty good astigmatism, but the LensStar nails it. LensStar is unique in regards to its keratometry. Compared to the other optical biometer, LensStar not only gives mean values for the magnitude of sphere, astigmatism, and its axis, but also includes standard deviations for each of those parameters for every recorded measurement. Studies have shown that when the standard deviation of the axis of each of the measurements is within a certain limit, LensStar keratometry is the best selection predictor for the type and power of toric IOLs targeted to correct astigmatism below 0.5 diopter of error. And here are more experts on what they have determined from their own clinical experience about the advantage of LensStar keratometry. The other thing that was so important to us since we're a toric center is where the K is right. And I had heard in Europe that there was a question of how accurate the K's were. So we did a hundred consecutive patients with toric lenses with a minimum of 0 0.75 diopter of cylinder. We were blown away at how consistent LensStar was. And I talked to Warren Hill, Kerry Solomon, Dr. Cook, and a handful of other people in the, in the last week who have reinforced our findings that the Ks are, are, are spot on. The part that I really like um, a lot about this instrument is the keratometry. Again, we, we got this for a completely different reason, and uh, the Ks turned out to be a little bit of a surprise. They're probably the most consistent Ks we've ever seen. And one advantage of these Ks is if, with the new software, uh, David Cook has shown us that if the standard deviation is 0.34 diopters or, or better, um, you can use this for the toric IOL as your only measuring device. This is the first time we've been able to say this about an automated device for the toric IOL. So this is, this is huge as far as I'm concerned. The points that I like about this particular machine, we get nine simultaneous measurements, boom, they're done. It has some very unique uh, ker keratometry feature that was a total surprise to us. We did not expect these Ks to be this good. And the fact that we can use them for the toric IOL came completely from left field. We were not looking for this, but just as we put the data in our spreadsheets and began to analyze the data, the correlation with the toric IOL just popped right up out of the background, and that was a surprise. If the axis is lined up 
the, the lens star gives a standard deviation on every measurement. And if the standard deviation on the axis is within three and a half de degrees of each other, you can count on that. You can tell it's pretty accurately. You can. Sure. And so if it's always giving you the same reading, all five of those readings measure the same thing, I put my astigmatism, I put my torque right lined up on that and I'm right on the money. One of the nice things we'll get with the, the Hogs Right Lens Star is you're getting more readings and then also more central. So the two rings where you get the keratometry readings are 1.65 millimeters in diameter and 2.3 millimeters in diameter. Certainly a lot set closer to that center of the cornea, which we want ideally. This was really one of the first surprises that we had with the lens star. Um, those people who know me know that I've um, been a proponent of manual keratometry um, for measuring the power difference between principal meridians for the toric IOL for a very long time. And when we were calculating the spherical power of the toric IOL with the lens star, um, we had to get a set of Ks. And what we began to notice was that the Ks for uh, the spherical calculation also correlated very, very nicely with the um, amount of astigmatism we were looking to correct with the toric eye well. And so we began using those numbers for our toric eye well calculations, and the results were very, very good. I had the same feeling that the K readings, the, it has a very high precision in the measurement, whether it's the repeatability or the reproducibility of the measurements. The Ks are uh, quite precise mm -hmm. and reproducible, and that makes a big difference to a point where now I use the Landstar K readings automatically for my calculations. With Landstar's keratometry, you can finally feel secure in your results. Although it is not a new measurement in optical biometry, it has been dramatically improved, and experts tell us it's very accurate and extremely reproducible. All patients will be able to benefit from the advanced precision and highly reproducible results of Lenstar's advanced keratometry. It's measured instantly, painlessly, and accurately, giving you full control of the data electronically. If you want no compromises, perfect outcomes with premium IOLs, Lenstar will give you the edge. Call 888-MY-LENSTAR or visit mylenstar.com to learn more or to arrange a demonstration of Lenstar so you can see for yourself how Lenstar can provide immediate value in your practice.